Let's go live now at Woodbine Beach, where Toronto police are outlining their safety plan for the upcoming long weekend. Fires, ambient music. We have uh, increased parking enforcement that will be down here. So we suggest that if you are coming to the beach for the fireworks, you take TTC. Our partners at TTC have a significant number of extra buses on two routes that will be in operation to move people in and out quickly from the beach after the fireworks are completed. We will also have, uh, as you see behind me, a significant number of police resources is here from Friday to Monday. We will have our side-by-sides. Uh, as you see, we will have officers on bicycle, on foot patrol, and on ATVs in the beach area. We also will have our mounted unit uh, present to assist with uh, keeping everything uh, safe for our uh, community that is attending. We. Uh, have a significantly increased police presence this year uh, due to previous years uh, where we've had some issues. Uh, we had a very, very safe year last year. We had zero arrests, which we are hoping to uh, replicate this year. So when people come to the beach, some people are concerned about the increased police presence and we explain that it is to ensure that everyone is able to enjoy a safe experience while they're here. So some important points to remember, please do not bring your own fireworks to the beach. The city has spent a lot of money for a spectacular presentation that occurs each year. If you have fireworks and you are setting them off, there is a thousand dollar bylaw fine that you will be subject to. Please don't even bring them into the park, leave them in your car. You are not permitted to drink on the beach and in the park area adjoining to this beach. Although you can drink in other city parks, you cannot do that here. So please do not bring your alcohol to the beach. If you bring speakers and you are playing music, it must be at a reasonable level. We will not permit DJs with uh, large speakers to set up in the parking lot. Uh, as we've had in the last couple of years, uh, as the DJs arrive, we quickly advise them of the bylaws and uh, request that they take their equipment down. So uh, we are hoping for a very, very safe weekend. We've worked very hard with our city partners to ensure that everyone coming to the beach will be safe. We will have EMS uh, paramedic services here in the event People require medical attention, and we will also have Toronto Fire Services uh, present over the entire weekend. Does anyone have any questions? Yeah, Superintendent, um, glad to hear that last year was the safe year. The year before, there was obviously some incidences uh, with fireworks. What were the consequences of that as far as casualty go, casualties go, but also what happened to those people that were shooting fireworks at each other, essentially? So you're correct. Two years ago, we had a very difficult situation down here at the beach. Our uh, mounted officers, uh, while on the horses, um, had fireworks shot at both the officers and the horses. Um, there are often groups that will engage in firework wars where they shoot fireworks at each other. Um, last year, uh, in as immediately upon seeing people with fireworks on the beach, our officers on the ATVs and our side-by-sides uh, attended those group groups, seized those fireworks, and or had those members of the public turn them over willingly or have them return to their vehicles. Um, there were several incidents where we had people shooting fireworks and for many it's a public education for many people don't understand that they can't bring their own fireworks they don't understand the dangers of shooting fireworks off at each other so in those instances we addressed it with public education and this is why i ask that you are here today so we can educate people before they actually come to the beach and then find themselves in those situations last year we had no injuries and we had no arrests or uh, fines in relation to possession of fireworks and or shooting off the fireworks. Can you tell us uh, last year, if, did you guys perhaps 
report any attempts, people who may have brought their own fireworks and please notice and stop it before it happened? Or yes. In case nobody brought anything? Nope. Uh, there were still many, despite the city putting up signs uh, around the perimeter of this uh, park to say no fireworks allowed. There were many people that did bring fireworks and immediately upon um, recognizing that those individuals had fireworks, our officers on foot on foot, bikes and um, ATVs and side-by-sides actually down on the sand, uh, intervened, spoke with the individuals. Uh, they turned those fireworks over to us or returned them to their vehicles. Would you say fireworks are the biggest issue during the Victoria Day long weekend or long weekends in general or, or what other offenses are you guys looking at for and see a lot of? So we, well, not necessarily offenses, but um, we have often a lot of people uh, go in the water um, at the end of the night uh, or at some point throughout the night. And um, there was a water safety press conference this morning uh, done by our Marine unit. And I'm certain that they highlighted that the water temperatures are very cold, still very cold. And when people are in the water at dark, uh, in the dark, it's very hard to see them. Some people have had pretty significant medical emergencies as a result of being in the water. Um, so we encourage people to not go in the water. Um, and even going in from the shore a few feet, it's so cold, it doesn't take long for you, your body to experience those cold temperatures. So. Uh, we also experience disorderly behavior. Right here is the center of it all. Woodbine Bathing Station, uh, these are the only washroom facilities here at this location and often the scene of thousands of people gathering. Uh, so we have a lot of officers deployed here uh, to manage the crowds. And as soon as the fireworks are over, we ask that people leave the area. Get on the buses, get in your cars and go uh, to help control the um, crowd here at the bathing station. Oh, we've been listening to Toronto Police uh, gearing up for the long weekend. They are outlining their safety plan, uh, hoping uh, to make sure it's uh, safe for everyone who comes down to the waterfront and enjoys some of the fireworks.